ただいまあれもう戻ってきたんすかこんなすぐに戻ってくるなんて<笑>一体何の見回りをえーあ、ファーサン Come to think of it, that was the reason she gave for us leaving the room. No problem. Oh? Private talk. I suppose it's natural that no one believes that we seriously patrol the school. Gobi? Is it a hug? A reward? Shake, shake what? Huh? <laughs> what does shake have to do with patting my head though? <laughs> Basically, she wants to get a bit touchy feely by patting my head. That about right? Uh, um, well, I think that this is a bit too heady. I also feel like I'll miss the chance to exchange intimacies with her as the other today if I don't go along with this. Woof? What does Woof have to do with Shake? I don't understand the Shake part though. Ode, I, I think she said something about Ode. But what does Shake have to do? Oh, you mean like Shake like a, a dog or something? But okay, we must acting like a, a dog now. Woof! I set my treatment as a dog and with a tap, place my hand on top of the hand、uh, she's holding out to me. <laughs> oh, you mean shake as in I shake my hand or something? Does this really classify as holding hands as well? Well, just the fact that our hands are touching makes me happy though. <laughs> And in the meantime, all the, the rest are just watching us, <laughs> looking on. Huh? What's going on? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, this looks kind of wrong, but. I mean, it's more like she's treating me like a dog rather than as a boyfriend, but.、Uh, <laughs> okay. She places her hand on my presented head and proceeds to wrap it all <laughs> Come on now, Han. Um. That's not how you treat a boyfriend, girl. <laughs> she's seriously treating me like a dog, precisely. I have to say, though, with the way she's doting on me, cat treatment might actually be the more appropriate term. Uh, An, don't treat me like a plushie, too, alright? Or else you're gonna, I don't know, you're gonna tear me apart or what?、Uh, thanks. At first, she was rubbing my head. Causing my hair to get deceived. And now she's gently combing it down to get my hair back in order. <sighs> you okay there, An? <laughs> well, I use shampoo, just like pretty much everyone, so yeah. Okay. I mean, it, that's the, the, the natural thing to do, hygienic. But with the way she moves her hand, somehow it's starting to make me feel at ease. Don't get addicted, okay. <laughs> Surprisingly, I think I also feel kinda good. There were times when Aoi san also stroked my head. But the way she did that felt differently and was strangely comfortable. Senpai's hand, however, teasingly pulls at my hair every once in a while, which is something Aoi san never did. Just by leaving myself to this sensation slightly sets me into a fun mood. Aunt, please don't do that. I don't want to be bored. <laughs> no. That would naturally be going a bit too far. At that moment, when my elated mood subsided a bit, Yeah, you see, everyone just 
What the hell? <laughs> Why are you envious though? You want her to fight you too? <laughs> well, we're a couple. That's. <laughs> uh, I noticed that the atmosphere that fills the room has become rather awkward. Why should I just admit to them? Otherwise, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right, when, when did that come from? <laughs> when did that come about? I assume Senpai also caught on to the fact that as she hurriedly distances herself from me and starts to make excuses. To put in a nutshell, we're in love? <laughs> or like, I'm the servant, I'm the dog, she's the master, I don't know. <laughs> she momentarily pauses at that moment and firmly fixates both Senpai and me with her gaze. Ayashi. <laughs> Why? Why don't we just admit it already? And we just take down that, 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 like I said umpteen times, we just take down that love is banned poster banner and that's it. Problem solved. <laughs> Despite the fact that she didn't look like she's questioning us all, at all, Mio also chimes in. Exactly what is? We're no different from usual. <laughs> well... <laughs> Was there anything off? Yeah, I mean, we're just being our usual self. According to my plan, there should have absolutely been nothing unnatural with Senpai touching me at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. It would seem that I was the one acting unnaturally. <laughs> Well, what, what should we do now? <laughs> True. Though I kind of feel like it should have been quite obvious if you took a moment and thought about it with a cool head. Just now, I probably experienced the adage, love is blind. I probably. Yeah, we should come clean. She obviously said no. Yeah. <coughs> we have a Keiaku, we have a contract, a love contract. <laughs> oh, whatever. Well, <laughs> well, the thing is, as Mio asked that with a smile on her face, for some reason I find myself at a loss of words, cold sweat streaming down my back. My cell just emitted. it. Come on, you might make the right decision. Most likely, Senpai is pretty much in the same mental state as me right now. Cornered into a situation where I'm beginning to think that the best call might be to just make a run for it together with Senpai. No, that will be running away. Oh, has Soul figured out? Everyone's laughing now. Hey? <laughs> Ridiculously terrible. <laughs> Seemingly unable to hold it in any longer, So and Mio broke into laughter while Konami heaved a sigh. What about Yuri? <laughs> Upon 
Upon that, Tsukishima somehow apparently lost for words at our behavior. Beastly walks over to the whiteboard near the windows. Oh, is she going to take down the banner? Is she going to be the one to do that? All right, thank you, Yuri. Thank you. See, that's why I see this room is. You can just take it down. What's wrong with taking it down? I mean, nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's a ridiculous rule to begin with. <laughs> <coughs> she slowly peels the poster off, then folds it up to a small size right then and there. Tsukishima, why did you do that? <coughs> yeah, see, they all know, they all know, they have figured out that you two are, are lovebirds. And that's just evident. What? <laughs> For a long time, huh? Eh? Chinamini Watashkara and Animo it than I, you. Sana Kotoshinakemo, Mimi Kizuita Tamita. Okay. Not the Paraterno? Yeah. Just what is it that gave us away? So, Koma de Akarasama Fuinki does do it. Doko de Tiwaratemana. Yeah, I mean, ever since the pool party, right? Yeah, quite obvious, right? As in always avoiding him. くっつくのかどうか注目の的でした。でもあの先週までは付き合う気なんてなかったんだけど。それでもゆうくんのこと好きなんだなって見ていて分かってましたよ。ゆうまの方はまあ顔に出ないだけで。<笑> <laughs> yeah, I mean, his face is always so like this, so it's hard to tell, but behavior says otherwise. Uh, well, when you're in love, you're pretty easy to see through. <laughs> Both Senpai and I cast our eyes down with blushed faces, as we learn about the fact that everyone has been secretly cheering for us. It's fine. I mean, I, 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 I bet the other girls want to find love too <laughs> with someone else. But don't worry, I'll find love with you, the rest of you soon. Uh, what, what taught me a lesson? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, because that's why we're trying to keep it a secret. Yeah, it's fine. Tsukishima. It won't, don't worry, Yuri. Of course, of course, no dirty acts in public. Like that, she admonishes Senpai with a serious tone. So might as well put a new rule there on the on the board say no dirty acts, yeah? However Thank you, Yuri. <laughs> she smiles gently and says that I'll go for you soon, Yuri, so <laughs> and Mio and Konami. 
言われてもこそこそしないで堂々と付き合っちゃえってことっすよ Thank you so ルーキーンさんがいいって言ってるんだから遠慮はいらないと思うよ兄さん Yeah Even though I've heard that Uh, perplexity still outweighs me. It simply doesn't quite sink in. Yeah? And yet, with a voice that bears not even the slightest indication of falsehood, Mio says, <laughs> Thank you, you Mio. An embarrassing feeling of happiness softly wells up. Yes, we can be in love now, lovey dovey. Yes, and fine. Let's not hide our relationship. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We'll get used to it. At any rate, it seems that everyone gave our relationship their blessing. Alright. That's great, you know. So, we continue the day. May 14th, Tuesday. The next day during lunch break. Yeah, right. Um, sorry, but I have to accompany An. <laughs> well, you're right in that I didn't bring lunch from home, but well, maybe An actually prepared bento for me. <laughs> the truth of the matter is. I got a text from Senpai last night. Oh. Wait. Did I sleep at An's room? You're most likely on the right track. At that moment, the classroom door was vigorously put open by none other than An. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, there, An. Obviously to see you, ma. Um, senpai. Just as I stood up in response to a somewhat bad premonition I had. <laughs> see, I'm smart, you know. I know I knew I will be here to bring me bento or bento. Yeah. I satsuno o bento. Um, who are you, student guy? Eh? <laughs> what, what? Um, oh, that's a bad premonition you're talking about, Shihuma. Now the whole class knows. I didn't make it. I sai bento, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, student girl. See, whoever you are, I, I, but I don't know who you are. <laughs> yeah, they know. <laughs> hey, Mio, you're not, <laughs> you're not supposed to outright say that. <laughs> sorry, classmates. In the, blink of an, my, uh, in the blink of an eye, the situation in the classroom has shifted from noisy to chaotic. Yeah. And Jinpo Senpai is gazing at that scene with a grin on her face. I'm 100% sure she did that deliberately so that everyone would hear it. And, and later it'll be the whole school. <laughs> Well, it's not like there's any need or reason to hide our relationship, so I don't particularly mind. Yeah, Anes, set down the rules. <laughs> Sorry, Gussie. Uh, 
でも神保先輩が相手ならしょうがないのかな。Rival? No, she's not your rival anymore. No more rivals. 会長、女子のみんなに言ったということは男子は手を出してもいいんでしょうか。I do not want guys. Okay, so <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? だってよ、今日はユーマと飯食おうと思ったのに。Well, we can go together. Well, she's on, so sorry, so. No more boy body. <laughs> you have to find someone else. Why your son is so angry, so. <laughs> Mio, no, no, please. Mio, Mio. Come down. <laughs> This has sort of already turned into a complete mess. Anyways, I'll go with Senpai. Sorry, so. Could you have lunch by yourself? <laughs> no, it's not that it's bitter. You know, we have to accompany my, my girlfriend, no, always. Often as often as possible. Mio, Mio, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just ignore them. Senpai, let's get going. Oh yeah, if you call it that, yeah, sure. Want me to leave you here? Bye. <laughs> Sorry, those after you, ma. I turned my back to my classmates that are making a fuss and, as if to flee from them, left the classroom together with Senpai. After that, we ate lunch at the student council room where we could be alone. Ah, that's a good choice, I guess. Since she kind of seemed to be in high spirits, I thought she would do the staple feed your boyfriend event, but. <laughs> oh, it looks like she's not doing that. Yeah, it was really tasty. Thanks. Surprisingly, I finished eating without anything noteworthy happening. Or maybe she didn't actually think of it. If it, unless you tell her, then she'll do it, maybe? Uh, actually, I want you to feed me. <laughs> Nothing. It's just that I didn't, I didn't think you would turn out to be such a calm lunch. Uh, never mind, in fact. <laughs> well, um, when you came to my classroom, you showed off to everyone that you're my girlfriend, right? Okay. I have no interest in anyone but you, so there's no need to worry. Why? How so? This guy's so nice. Okay. If you say so. Let's just say she's most likely complimenting me with that. Yeah, we、we'll、just take it that. Right, with only that information, what I meant to say ended up sounding cryptic. I thought you wanted us to spend time couple life. Like feeding me, <laughs> like making me say "an" and feeding me. Embarrassing, but that's what couples are supposed to do. I'm not following you there. What do you mean by in earnest? What? So you, when you're not actually serious, you won't do it? So all those times you've been teasing me? Okay, those are not serious. <laughs> Does that really make that much of a difference? 
can't say I can follow her logic. Maybe she, when she actually does it for real, she feels embarrassed, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that would be quite embarrassing for me as well. Especially with the atmosphere as calm as it is now. Okay? Hmm. Yeah, true. So basically, she's also feeling at ease as we spend time alone like this. If that's the case, it makes me feel happy. That's good to know. Thank you. Sure, sure. No, something like that doesn't really suit me. As I take a sip of the tea she passed me after answering her, she proceeds to stow away the lunchbox in front of me. Uh, senpai, I'll return it to you. I'll return it to you after I wash it. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's true, I guess. As I shut my mouth after she easily wins her case, she now starts to briskly wipe the table before us. Senpai, let me at least handle that. <laughs> okay. Once I noticed, she had really cleaned everything up, leaving nothing left for me to help her with. I guess you could say I didn't have to lift a finger. Yeah, I feel kind of sad. I want to help out in some way. Yeah, at least not this week. Just to be clear, it's not that I didn't like it. Your cooking is really delicious. Maybe it's because she's embarrassed, you know. Our son prepares lunches for us. Oh yeah, that's that too. And if I went and told her that she wouldn't have to make one for me, she'll start crying. <laughs> yeah, then when she realizes that <gasps> your girlfriend has been making lunch boxes for you, <laughs> ah, she's gonna freak out. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Aunt, are you are you getting jealous? She's my mother, okay? She somewhat tilts her head to the side and begins to ponder about something. Senpai? Of course, girl, of course. But... Yes, yes, you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's true, yes. Yeah, I guess. Since I didn't think about it from this perspective, I feel a bit perplexed. Because like she's thinking about you, then you should even though it's embarrassing, you know, and all that. Yeah, you should actually appreciate whatever your mom does for you, for you and all that. Of course, your, your dad, actually your parents, basically. However, she might be right with what she's saying. <laughs> of course, son, of course. <laughs> gotcha. You know, and you should really take a photo of that. I mean, they do have mobile phones, right? So, you should take a photo and then tell me then tell me that I have a natural smile. Then I can see exactly what kind of smile he has. <sighs> Hearing her say so, I cast my eyes down out of embarrassment. Yeah, sure. And you too. Rely on me too, yeah? Okay. Um, in that case, not that I mean, not that I mean to say it, it, it's in exchange for what you do or anything, but... If you're using your time for me, 
I also want to use my time for you. After all, she herself just said that that's what being a couple is all about. So, is there anything you want? Hmm. As I ask her, Senpai ponders a bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, but pet my head? Uh, no, it's fine if you say so. If that means I can use my time for her, I suppose I should just obediently let her pet me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh dear me. So funny. It tickles. <sighs> Just don't tear me off, okay, An? <laughs> I know you're like, like really, yeah, really like clingy with plushies, so don't be too clingy to me, too. <laughs> Actually, it's more like it makes me feel comfortable well but if you says it's comfortable okay I know that this is a way of expressing her love but Iko Iko oh, yeah, by the way when she, when she say Iko Iko it's like good boy good boy rather than there there yeah that's the act the raw translation good boy <laughs> at this rate I fear I might turn into a spoiled yeah rotten man Rotten? I don't think it's rotten though. I spoil it maybe. Alright, so then after school. Yeah, I'm gonna go see uh An. Yeah. Since none of us have cleaning duty today, we directly head to the student council room right after homeroom ended. And as we walk through the hallway together, what's going on? What, 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 what's going on? As I turn my gaze into the direction, the familiar voice and footsteps we sound from, I spot the senpai running up to us with light steps. Actually, I'm not sure why there's a ruling in in Japan like you can't run in the hallway. Actually, that ruling also applies to um to most schools, right? But still, I think if you ask me in my country there is no such ruling in in yeah in our schools you no know, there's no such ruling so you can actually run the hallway just don't make too much noise now that's the more important thing yeah, that's probably it, but it, it seems more like, I don't know, that more like we are, she has something for us, but I think it's more like she, she just wants to see me. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, you're, you're well, <laughs> so you're the smart guy. Senpai. What? Do you want to go on a date with me now? That's news to me. Self study. Huh. <laughs> well, basically means you don't have to be in the class. <laughs> So we can go on a date. Oh, you sneaky girl. <laughs> and you never do 
these three people share and Konami's? Yeah, I mean it's your third year too, right? Your final year of high school, you know? But then again, I does she even need to study though? <laughs> She's a soul reaper! Oh, but the rest, you don't know, you know? <laughs> well, sure. Her last question probably meant to ask me, Will you go on a date with me? I must say, this is rather sudden. However, our initial plans from here on were already taken care of. That's because she did all of it. <laughs> but not the rest of the student council members. So where are you bringing me though? But I threw a glance towards a glance towards Mew and the others. Even if there's nothing for us to do, there's still a chance that someone might show up with a method that'll need to be attended to. <laughs> and if we have our hands free, the proper thing to do should be to help the others out. <laughs> Thank you, Yuri. <laughs> eh, really? Okay, sure. Surprisingly, they all encouraged me to go. So you thank you for being understanding, Yuri. You're, you're a great girl, that's why I want to go down her route next. But there's someone else who's suggesting Konami. So, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards Yuri first. Konami probably will come next after Yuri. Yeah, seeing that many people are actually quite like Konami's route. Yeah. Thanks guys. After hearing all that, I ultimately decided to accept their kindness. Yeah, precisely. Are we even allowed to like leave school? I mean, oh yeah, but but oh yeah, it's already after school though, right? So okay, okay, that's fine. No, it's also sudden. I can't think of anything. Pancake? Oh, I would love some pancakes. Pancakes, huh? Sounds good. I don't have any particular objection, so despite the fact that I'm somewhat pushed into it by her impulsiveness, I not. Uh, sure, of course. Well, I throw a glimpse at Tsukishima. Why do you have to put as unfortunate as that maybe? <laughs> it sure is a relief to have the PMC chairman's authorization. In fact, this is going to a direction where I can't turn her down anymore. Well, to begin with, I don't feel like turning her down in the slightest, of course not. Ah. I gently grasped her hand which she held out to me. It's soft and so smooth. Just this feeling to the touch alone elates me. Iko, ikimashou! Yeah. Urged down by her, I leave with Senpai walking next to me. Da 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 da. <laughs> yeah. What is like what? <laughs> of course, I'm damn lucky. Oh, 
言われてみればそうかも。Well, it, it, that's fine. It, that's fine. I mean, for girls to actually do everything for me, that's even better. <laughs> But of course, we cannot let every let the girl do everything, you know. Led by Senpai's hand, I was brought to the shopping district located at the center of the town. Oh, I think I think this is the first time we're actually in the shopping district, right? Yeah, this is the first time, at least for me. We buy several different types of pancakes at the pancake store, which Senpai claims to be really good. Then sit down on a nearby bench and eat. But man, there sure are a lot of variations to nowadays. In addition to the traditional red bean jam filled pancake, I know what chocolate and custard cream pancake is. What? But what exactly is a how you like it pancake? It was pretty tasty though. Well, how you like it is basically you mix whatever you like, right? <laughs> I, there is, I think there's such a kind of pancake. I mean, it's not just pancake. Other type of food, you just choose what you like, what flavors you want to add. You can request, you know. And so with this and that, time flies by in the blink of an eye as we enjoy a laid-back time in each other's company. You still want to eat? No, I, I, I'll definitely have to eat dinner. No, I won't. Don't underestimate the stomachs of young people. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I don't. Quite on the contrary, I asked because young girls usually mind their calorie intake. I think for you, you won't get fat anyway, right? Because I mean, you're so ripper. <laughs> you can always do something about the excess uh, fat. I, I, <laughs> I don't know, but. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to become chubby. Did she try, just try to appeal to me that she's young with that? Whereas a guy, it makes me happy to have a pretty girlfriend. <laughs> no, no, you're fine as you are, girl. You don't have to worry about that at the moment. Just stay the way you are. To begin with, as long as it isn't a seriously unhealthy weight condition, I wouldn't mind it at all. Having said that, I take out my wallet from my uniform's pocket. That's because when we bought the pancakes, she paid for both of our orders for the time being. Hmm, I feel bad though. No, I really can't have that. So where did, oh yeah, I mean she's, she works at a, an orphanage right, as a volunteer, so I think she does earn money from that, so I think you're also still a student. I can't imagine that she's getting paid for so ripper work. So does that mean she used to work? I'm a bit curious about that. But, but, but what's more important right now? Still, let me at least pay half of it. Yeah, you know, like, we need to at least split the bill. As she tries to yet pass on me paying her, she suddenly appears to have realized something. Mm, rather than embarrassing, I think it doesn't seem appropriate. I can't deny that feelings like that aren't mixed in as well. Of course, they're not. Well, I didn't mean to put myself down to that degree, actually. Alright, Warikan. Then next time I'll treat, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Alright. By the standards of society, it might actually be better if I paid for everything. By that, to assume she would get angry if I said that. 
So I take the compromise. Cheeky? That doesn't sound cheeky to me. No, I'm also sorry. Actually, my impression of you is quite contrary to that. Namely that you're an extremely thoughtful person. Yeah, I mean with the kids and all, you know. Yeah, that's true, yes. That's why we need to talk, communicate. Well, true. I think Aoi san said something very similar before I confessed to her. Back then, if I remember correctly, Same for you, An. She tells me the same thing that Brutness did to put into words, which are uh, to put into words what I truly think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything? You really mean that? I somewhat jokingly ask her back, but. You sure about that? <laughs> I mean, you'll be embarrassed, right? Don't just make the up things I supposedly wish for. And also, I'd like you to carefully think about the time and place when you say stuff like that. Sometimes I do. <laughs> Maybe. If I seriously pursued it, wouldn't that make it look like I was just after your body? <laughs> Which is important, you know. Well, it's no only natural for me to be like me. But what's more, you really shouldn't thoughtlessly promise to do everything I want. In response to my little lecture, for some reason, the senpai gazes back at me with a somewhat troubled expression. Yeah, mm, 100% serious, huh? Hey? Hmm. Hmm. She undoubtedly says that because she's an immoral, or rather, not immoral, I'm sorry, immortal soul reaper. Even though we've just started dating, she's conscious of the fact that someday she'll have to say goodbye. There's really no helping this, but it makes me a bit sad that after all. There's no need to rush things. I don't plan on dying anytime soon. Seeing her smile tinged with a hint of loneliness, I'm compelled by the wish to somehow cheer her up. up. To begin with, I want you to think more about what you want to do yourself, rather than just what I want to do. Yeah, because I also want to see you, you know, enjoy things that you want to, you know. It's not just about me, you know. I want you to let me help you with that. I also want to be relied upon by you. I want to support you. I told you that I would make you happy, right? Yeah. So, um, how should I say this? I start to feel a bit embarrassed. I'm saying this knowing that it's wimpy, but, but it would be a little problematic for me if you were too reliable. Mm, me? Extremely reliable to you? That can hardly be true, right? It's a fact that she's been taking the lead since we became a couple. Hmm, okay. As you are? Uh, as a soul reaper, that is. Mm, yeah. 
Well, for me, I'm, I'm not put off, so <laughs> either, you know, personally, so that's all. Uh, so you're saying I'm insensitive? <laughs> I can't bring myself to see that as a compliment. But well, even if it's unconsciously, if I'm actually doing something positive for her, I guess I can see it as a good thing. Anyhow, since you want me to be frank with you, the same is going to apply to you, alright? No glossing over what you really want either, like what you did during lunch today, saying you'll be fine with just patting my head and stuff. Alright. <laughs> Cost me trouble. I'm all ready for that trouble, you no? Know? I've braced myself for it. Yeah, that's just what I want. My happiness is her happiness, and her happiness is my happiness. In that case, we should seek the happiness out with all that we have. That's why. I, that's what went through my mind. Yeah. <laughs> 